In today's video, I'll be teaching you how to size solar charge controller because few people have reached out to me and asked for this. So this is like a video on demand. Don't forget, my name is Mary Guy Manuel, your favorite solar energy guide. This video will be very short and quick because one of the simplest or easiest stuff to do when it comes to solar energy system is how to size solar charge controller because your solar charge controller comes rated either in voltage, current or in power. So I'll tell you the two things that determine the size of the solar charge controller is used for a solar energy system. Number one is battery voltage, which is BV. Number two is battery charging current, which is BBC and BV. So battery voltage will tell you the size of the charge controller you should use when it comes to voltage. That's voltage, right? Voltage. Then the charging current, your battery, there are some batteries, those some manufacturers, just few manufacturers, like people that manufacture lithium battery, they will tell you the amount of current their battery requires for it to charge. Now, if manufacturer does not recommend the amount of current you should use for your battery or the amount of current that is required for that battery to charge, all you have to do is, let's say, let's say we have a 100 amps battery, right? And we want this 100 amps battery to get filled within four hours. We want this 100 amps battery to get filled within four hours. Assuming we don't know uh, the charging current, the required charging current for this 100 amps, then we come up with our own current. We say we want the battery, we want the battery to get filled in four hours. All you have to do is to say 100 divided by four. When you say 100 divided by four, it will give you 25 amps. So now you've known the charging current of your battery. You know that your battery is 12 volts, right? Assuming we are using a 12 volt battery, which is 100 amps, and uh, we don't know the charging current, but we want our battery to get filled within four hours. Now, all I have to do is to say 100 divided by four because the battery is supposed to get filled within four hours. So this will now determine the size of the solar charge controller because now you've known the charging current you've known the voltage our battery is 12 volts 100 amps but the charge controller we are going to be using for this system should be 12 volts right 12 volts uh, 30 amps at least you give 10 percent extra power are we together this is the easiest way for you to know the size of solar charge controller to use for your solar energy system and aside that you, are, you also have to know the amount of current you'll be generating from your solar panels. You may have come across a lot of installers that will tell you uh, the current doesn't really matter. Your charge controller will make use of the required current and let go of the others. It doesn't work that way. You end up getting your charge controller burnt because every charge controller or every electronics have safety limit. At least the way I calculate my own safety limit is to give 15% room. I give 15% room for my charge controller because I don't want to stress it. I don't want my charge controller to start sensing over current because most charge controllers are smart enough. Once you apply current above 85% or 95%, they will start displaying over current. And if you don't do anything about that, your charge controller will get burnt. So don't listen to people that will tell you, you can give any amount of current to your solar charge controller. It will extract the amount it wants to use and let go of the other. It doesn't work that way. Because the whole amount of current that will be coming from your solar panels will be pushed down to your charge controller. If your charge controller is not strong enough or smart enough, once it receives up to this 95%, and the sensing over current, if you're not close by, your charge controller will get burnt. So always give at least 15% room for your charge controller. Don't overstress your charge controller. So we are expecting 25 amps from our solar panels. We'll now decide to use at least 30 amps. Let there be little room or enough room for your charge controller to breathe. It's as simple as that. Are we together? So always consider this 15% extra room for your charge controller to work very well. So now you've known the size of charge controller to use for your 100 amps battery, which is supposed to be receiving 25 amps per hour to get filled within four hours. If you want to do for 200 amps, 300 amps, even 400 amps, it's still the same formula. You have to know the battery voltage, know the battery charging current. And aside knowing the battery voltage and the battery current, you also have to know the number of hours you want your battery to get filled to 100%. At least that will give you an insight to the size of charge controller you should use. This formula is applicable to any size of battery or any type of battery you want to carry out an installation. In case 
the manufacturer do not recommend the battery charging current. That is when you divide the battery charging current by the number of hours you want it to get filled and it will tell you the amount of current that will be coming in per hour. This amount of current that will be coming in per hour will determine the size of the charge controller you should use. Always factor in 15%. This is my own opinion. This is my own formula which I use. I always give extra 15 15%, like 15% extra. Now I have 25%. If I'll give 15% extra to either be 30 amps or 30 something amps, at least let me not overstress my charge controller or overwork my charge controller. You may want to go further or you may, may be curious because there are charge controller that comes uh, rated just in voltage and in current without you know telling you the amount of power you should apply. If you want to know the amount of power you should apply to your solar charge controller, I'm talking about wattage now. This is what you have to do. Now you've known your battery voltage, you've known your 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 charge controller current so if you want to determine the amount of power that solar charge controller can handle is to just let's assume it's 30 amps right 30 just a 30 multiplied by 12. so this 30 multiplied by 12 will tell you the amount of power this solar charge controller can handle from the solar panels i have a charge controller here a pwm solar charge controller that is rated in current and voltage so the manufacturer of this charge controller did not rate it in power. You have to do that calculation yourself. And in doing that calculation, you multiply the charge controller current by the battery voltage. It will determine the number of panels or the wattage of panels to be used on this solar charge controller. It's as simple as that.